Hello residents, Strawberry Linden interviewed Brad Abelwaga and Philip Rosedale, posing questions to them sent in by the Second Life community. In this news report, I will be highlighting five of the questions and answers that were discussed. To listen to the discussions in full, click on the link in the description below this video. Here are the highlights. Will the Second Life viewer have VR capabilities? Philip replied, people have already done viewers for Second Life that have VR capabilities, but because Second Life allows you to create as much graphical detail as you like, in many areas the frame rates are too low for VR. He continued to say that the more important issue is the VR headsets themselves. Some people are not comfortable wearing them and some it makes them feel sick. Second Life should not do anything with VR in a mainstream way until that changes, which he thinks won't be for at least five years. Question 2. What did Philip make of Facebook repositioning itself as Meta and its future ambitions as an overseer of the metaverse? What advice or caution would he give Facebook as his role as founder of Second Life? Philip's immediate response was Well, I think I'd say something like, don't do it. This is where the moral compass comes into play, and he compared the two very different business models between Facebook and Second Life. A business whose core design is to do advertising, to do targeting, and if that kind of business is successful at building a virtual world like Second Life, Philip says that the potential to do human harm is hard to overstate. By comparison, Second Life has demonstrated clearly that it can have a great successful business by charging people fees for things, not by capturing data, targeting them, changing their behaviour and selling them ads. He went on to say that Second Life makes more money per person that's using Second Life than YouTube does per person watching a video, or Facebook does per person using social network. This, Philip says, is proof that you can build a virtual world that is safe as far as impact on people. And he is so happy to be back helping Second Life continue in that way and be a North Star with respect to how something like a metaverse can be monetized. Question 3. How do they plan on bringing crypto, Web3, NFT and Second Life together? Philip says Second Life were the original crypto although it's different to a blockchain currency. We were an original currency that floated freely against other currencies and was traded in and out of the system. Brad added, we do 1.6 million transactions a day. You're not putting that on the blockchain, it's just not going to happen. But it says we were the original NFT. The idea that an NFT is a transferable digital asset, we already have that. Any item in world, you can click on it, see who owns it, and if the owner wants to sell it, it can have a price on it. Brad says there is no way that even if we wanted to, we could do it, and it would just destroy things. And he said, we have no plans in changing anything in Second Life that relates to crypto, NFT, and Web3. Philip finished by saying Second Life's rate of transactions is greater, he thinks, than the sum of both Ethereum and Bitcoin could support. We would overwhelm both networks immediately if we switched the traffic, which is about 20 transactions per second, over to the blockchain, and we would risk doing harm by the ecological impact. Question 4. Are there any plans selling the company, merging with Meta, or is there any reassurance they could offer that this would not be a direction Linden Lab is moving towards? Brad Oberweger said, we will never sell to Meta under any circumstances ever. Um, no plans, not interested, um, don't think it's the right thing and don't think it would, um, and also fundamentally believe I don't think it's the right, be the right uh, monetary decision. What he is currently focused on is what are the right ways to operate with other metaverses. And for the final question I'd like to highlight in this report, what's next for Second Life? And what would they both like to see happen in 2022 and beyond? Brad wants to see us continue to make the experience better. He believes very much that the more residents, more engagement is the most important thing.
Philip's answer was threefold. Firstly, he'd like to see more expressive avatars as a way to get people feeling more comfortable being an avatar and therefore will bring more people in. Secondly, to be able to get more and more people in one place at one time, like going to a concert would involve more than 100 people at once and this is still a technical challenge for the entire industry. Thirdly, he pointed out that people all over the world have smartphones as their primary access point. He would like to see Second Life on smartphones in one form or another in order to serve and reach billions of people. And as a final word, Philip said it's wonderful to be back and he is going to start wandering the world and introducing himself again. If you enjoy my news vlogs, please give this video a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. This is Rosie Hellendale reporting, wherever you are in the world, have a great day.